Kelas, welcome back to Pancila. A podcast, a podcast that, makes your that makes your dreams go big like a Godzilla. As you guys know, we will always give a motivation quote before we start talking to the speakers. So today's quote is, "If there's no struggle, there's no progress." By Frederick Douglass. Do you know what it means? Wow, that is good quote. So, Frederick Douglass believed that progress starts with the desire for something for exceptional values and the willingness to endure work, suffering, and strive to get it. So, in order to get something you want, you have to do all the process from beginning till the end. Word explanation, Alena. So, let's move on to today's topic. We have an exciting topic for all of you guys, which is how to get good TOEFL score. TOEFL has many benefits for us. Like when you study abroad, the TOEFL will be your passport to study abroad on an exchange year for the totality of your studies. In order to reach that good score, we also have methods, material, and advice will be given by our speaker today. They are Kagigi and Kanora. Hello, how is it going, Ka? Hi, nice to meet you all. I'm great, thank you. Hello, it's good to see you in this podcast. I'm fine, and thank you. Alright, I think we can jump to the first question. That's great. Okay, so many people must have the opinion that the TOEFL is difficult to get high score, difficult to get a certificate, and so on. Even so, the TOEFL is used as a requirement for many occasions, such as applying for scholarship to applying for jobs, right? Yeah, that's right. But that's not 100% right because today we will talk about tips and tricks to get a high TOEFL score. Okay, but before we share the tips and tricks, Kakiki, can you explain to all the fellas out there what is TOEFL? Okay, alright, let me explain ya. So, basically TOEFL itself stands for Test of English as a Foreign Language, which is a test that is usually used to determine the level of a person's ability to speak English. Uh, the test is intended for those who don't speak English as their mother tongue. The TOEFL test consists of a reading, speaking, writing, and listening test. Wow, I just found out what TOEFL stands for today. Me too, me too. Okay, next question. What is the benefits of learning TOEFL, Ka? Can you explain to us? Yeah, yeah. When we learn the TOEFL, you should know what the benefits of it. So first, you can get the opportunity to study the book which will open our global perspective. Next, we also get an ability to learn team. TOEFL is a guarantee that you can do academic assignments in an environment that speaks in English. And then, we can open the opportunity in the world of work. Being an employee with a good understanding of English will be a plus for the company. And of course, there are many benefits if you take the research of TOEFL. Oh, there is so much benefit you are. I'm pretty sure there is not enough. Yes, keep in mind guys, the benefits are more than what I just explained ya. What I just explained is just the general benefits. Okay Kak Nora, so we move on to the next question ya. Before we ask about the tips and tricks to get higher school in TOEFL, I wanna ask, are there any difficulties that you guys are facing while preparing or maybe doing TOEFL? Hmm, I personally think that the difficulty can be reduced. Uh, but I can guarantee that the difficulties will go away, guys. So this is the difficult possibility. I think there will be a problem with the form, the use of capitalization, and many else. But after I analyzed it, turns out that many people have difficulties with grammar. Yeah, I agree. Grammar is the main problem, especially the using of verb. But I think lack of vocabulary will be a big problem too. Do you have any solution to manage the difficulties that you get? Oh, of course. We have many solutions for the problems, yeah. And in my opinion, you can join an English organization to help your TOEFL to reach the high score. But what is the exact organization, especially in Utsu, to help us solve the problem? Of course, there is an English organization in Unsut, which is SAF. Do you know SAF? No, I do not. Could you tell me what is SAF, Ka? Alright, SAF is the biggest firm in Unsut that will help you 
uh, boost your English skills for many aspects such as writing and speaking. So if you join itself, that's a uh, best decision to help your TOEFL process. I think it will be a networking situation, yeah, if you suddenly meet with the difficulties. It's the Nori Alena. We haven't opened the tips yet. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So for the fellas out there, take your notes with you and be ready for the tips. Without any further ado, Ka, what are your tips? Bis, Balkis and me also curious about that. Mm, okay, as you guys know, from what I have explained from the start, Tufel have divided into reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Yeah, the first tips of reading is focus on the question. You can use scanning methods to understand the text. The second tip is not to panic if you see a foreign language. You can guess it by the form of the sentence. Next, uh, some tips for writing. Yeah, so you should uh, widen your vocabulary so the uh, so the listening and speaking can be explained by Kanura. Yeah. Okay, thanks Kagigi. For the listening, you should watch out for the distractor because a certain accent. And for the speaking, you should develop your answer. You can also search for references in several media on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. So for the tips, I hope it can be useful, yeah, for our parents. Do you know that SAF is also providing TOEFL or UPT test and a certificate? Yes, of course, I know. It's some benefits that you get if you join SAF. You can also learn at least with TOEFL standard here. Wow, that's cool. It, we have arrived at the end of this podcast episode. But don't be sad because tomorrow we will back again for the last episode with an interesting topic. Thank you to Kak Gigi and Kak Nura who's willing to be speakers for this episode. I hope the best for your life, Kak. Thank you for having us in this podcast. Thank you. And again, thanks to you fellas who are listening to this podcast from the beginning until the end. Have a nice day and don't forget to be back tomorrow to listen to this podcast again because there will be an interesting episode. So stay tuned, yeah. Bye, Bye fellas. Bye, guys.